Welcome to Crafty Little Things, I'm Andrea um, and today I'm just going to show you how to make this cute card. This is for a sketch challenge on the Joya Sets. Joya Sets has a monthly challenge, this is the March challenge and it's a different theme every month. This month it's a sketch challenge so I thought as it's a monthly I'll push the boat out a little bit and do something that's not like me. Um, so let's see where well, you can, you've seen where that takes us. So what you need for this card then is, um, I've got a very vanilla base, which measures six by four. So um, six by eight scored and burnished at four on the long side. And then I'm using a piece of pool party, uh, soft sky, sorry, um, which measures, which is retired color, but I've got loads of it left which measures five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I'm using, so that's from Stamping Up, those two are from Stamping Up. This is from, I think this is from Dovecraft, and it was a gifted paper, and I've trimmed it down. This piece um, measures three and a half by five and a half, and then this piece um, did measure three and a half by three and a half, but then about an inch up, or just over an inch, an inch and an eighth, I just sliced it across. So that's going to go over there. And then my ribbon, which is a stamping up ribbon. I don't know if, I don't know if it's retired. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and yeah, that is going to go. Let me just zoom in a bit because I can't really see. That's going to lay across there. It's got a little metallic element in it. And then I've got a tiny, the sketch, um, I haven't shown you the sketch. The sketch was really, there's not a lot on it to be honest. And what there is on it is really small. So let me just, might be difficult for you to see, but that's it. So it's just a few flowers, two different sort of diagonal colours, a little strip and a cent tiny sentiment. So... I've gone with it and I've made the sentiment really tiny. I've just onto very vanilla, I've just stamped congratulations using crumb cake ink. Yeah, so I've stamped using crumb cake the congratulations from the family and friends set because these sentiments are really tiny. So I've done that and I've edged it with an old retired ink called strawberry slush, and I'll tell you why I've done that in a minute. So um what else have I done? So that's all going to be layered up on there, like so. That's going to go across there. And that's going to go at the end there, not quite at the end. And then I've made some flowers. And this is where it's not like me. Now I've made four little flowers um, just to pop along the um, join but I've made a bunch of flowers to go in the top space because I thought this top space was a bit devoid of anything. So what I've done is I've used the soft sky and I've used the old pansy punch um, from Stampin' Up and I've used soft sky to punch one and then the second one I'll tell you what I did in a minute. And then for the smaller ones, I've used a pearl in one, a diamond in another, rhinestone in another. And then for this, these smaller ones, I've used the petite petals punch and I've done a, a vellum one and a cardstock one. And what I've done is I've used this flower forming cardstock um, in bright white. And it's a specially formulated cardstock to give a handmade paper texture when spritzed and I thought well I'll give it a try it was on offer um, in creating craft and I thought I'll give it a try and it really does I've spritzed this with I've used the stamping up spritzes these really inexpensive you get two in a pack and I've this one's got peekaboo peach ink in it which is a retired colour again um, and water and this one has got strawberry slush and water I wanted a deep 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 pink um, and I thought oh that's a deep pink um, nearly red 
so because I just wanted to complement this colour in the card here so um yeah so then I've used the punch I've used my um piercing mat and my piercing tool just to give the flowers some dimension for these tiny flowers I use the bitty or itty bitty flower punch whatever it's called I use this one um and then I just push them down into the mat with the back of my piercing tool and then I just added diamonds into the into the frame now I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so this is a flower that's just drying and you can see that from the texture of the paper when you begin this is just the texture of the paper when you begin to how it looks it gets like a really uh, it does get like a handmade paper feel once it's been spritzed and all I did to spritz it to spritz everything I mean the these have been spritzed a bit more and there's a bit more pigment in you know, a bit more ink in the water for those but all I did was I just punched out the pansy using that the pansy punch and using that um, special paper and then I gave it some dimension first so I used my tool first I'll keep it in that little tube because it's easier to find and then I just used a piece of scrap paper and you could hold it with some tweezers and I just lightly spritzed it and then just left it to dry um, on the pink, the, the strawberry slush ones, I actually pressed them down to sort of give them a full coverage. You could do that if you wanted to. And if you had like a really deep ch channel there, then you might get your ink running down and you get a nice dark sort of variation on the inside. And then just leave those to dry. Or if you want to dry them quickly, you can dry them with your heat tool. And so that's how I made those flowers. Okay, these ones were cut from this paper. I just cut out the blue roses, um, so they all look the same. And then they're just stuck together with a bit of liquid adhesive. So I'm going to put the card together now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this piece. Just zoom out a bit. Is stick this piece onto this piece because I want to wrap the ribbon around. Sorry, my dogs are a little bit spirited at the moment because they're just my friends just come to take them for a walk. So line that up perfectly. I don't want to see any of that coming through. And then I'm going to run the tape across there for the ribbon. Just get it nice and straight and flush up to that. up to that line there and then I am going to take it around the back a little bit but before I do that I'll put that little oh no, I'm not going to do that first then I'm just going to trim it off a little bit <laughs> and then I'm going to just pop a little bit of tape there I don't know if you heard that, but my, I don't know if I'm going to leave that in, but the reason I'm laughing is because my little dog, what she's just done, she's like a, she thinks she's a kangaroo, <laughs> she jumps everywhere, look at how pretty that is, and then that's going to go onto there, so I'm just going to use tape for that.
and then get that so it's positioned nicely in the middle. And then I'm going to just tape it on to the card itself. layers going on and then I'm going to get this congratulations Oops. I'm just going to use a couple of dimensionals I talk about dimensionals all the time you might not know what they are they're these like little foam pads but they're shaped um, they're hexagon shaped so you can get to use the whole sheet and they fit into corners nicely and yeah they're, they're really good so I'm just going to pop that there and like I said I just edge that in the strawberry slush just to match and now I'm going to pop these flowers on just wondering if I've still got a bit of tacky going on with my I'm going to pop I'm going to use my liquid glue because I think that's got the best hope of holding it. I'll put one at the other end and then that'll help me to space out the other two. I need a little bit of glue. This is like a silicon based glue so it's got a really strong bond. It won't just colour your paper. Or... I don't want to press them down too much because that little diamond is in there. It's gone. I don't want to press them down too much. So I don't want to flatten them out. I'll flatten them out and then I'll um, rebuild them. And then the bigger flowers, I'm just going to work out where I'm going to put them. I think that'll be fine, something like that. Now they're not on the sketch. put this one on first they're not on the sketch obviously the sketch didn't have these big flowers on but I don't always interpret sketches literally I know other people don't it just felt like a big open space Sometimes open space is good and we get a bit too carried away with filling up every part of the paper but I just wanted to I want them to kind of stand off. Stuff on the front. So it's like I think I'm going to put that one in there. Oops. Picked up the wrong thing. And then this one. I'm going to put them down here. I 
and then once they're all nicely stuck down you can always go back and just fluff up the, the edges There we go, there we have it. It's my card for the sketch challenge. I love that. And like I say, it's a bit unusual for me. I don't normally over embellish things and I don't normally sort of make, go into lots of detail making flowers. So yeah, it's a bit unusual for me. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I definitely enjoyed making it. And this 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 paper is really it really does the trick now I don't know what it's like compared to other papers I don't know why it's it's especially formulated but it definitely goes very starts off quite sheeny and then it goes really sort of matte and almost tissuey definitely does give a feeling of handmade paper it's like it's supposed to it's really nice I might have put a little layer behind that really, but never mind. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.